welcome back everyone and today I have Kathy mm -hmm. from China and she is a master's student here with me at uni or at ETH? ETH. At ETH studying food sciences. Mm -hmm. So welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so our first things first I wanted to know can you explain what is food sciences? Mm -hmm. Um, in my opinion, I think food science is quite interdisciplinary. So you can do a lot of stuff in food science. You can do biochemistry, food biochemistry, which means, and also you can do more like in the bio biology, like biotechnology. So oh. that you can modify some fungi or so some food that on the gene level, so that you can create more. Uh, advanced food products. Also, you can focus more on the physics. So it's like do something in processing. So you can do food processing, it's engineering work. And also you could do part of in the psychology, which is the consumer behavior. You, you can uh, study, oh. yeah, you can study the behavior regarding to the food, like how people make choice. In uh -huh. their food and how to modify the choice and how to build a good environment for the for healthy eating diet. I think uh -huh. that's that's very interesting uh, to me actually. And also other things is like nutrition. Yeah, mm. nutrition is yeah more in the biology and the chemistry field. Yeah. So we have nutrition. Mm -hmm. We have the psychology yeah. of um, like yeah. consumerism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we have the genomes, mm -hmm. like the genetically modified mm -hmm. organisms. Mm -hmm. And what was the first one you said? Uh, biochemistry. Biochemistry. Yeah, it's, it's very chemistry stuff. So you study the, the chemistry structure okay. of some uh, or some chemicals found in food. Maybe some some will have very strong bioactive, like anti cancer or mm -hmm, anti mm -hmm. aging. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's a really good explanation. Yeah. You were worried that you were not going to be able to yeah. explain it. That's really so. Mm -hmm. So, out of all of these categories, which one interests you the most? Like, which one do you want to go into? Ah, actually, I'm doing my thesis on sustainable poops. Of food processing, oh. but and um, I'm not working in the lab. Actually, I work in on the data. Like I collect some data, so I build some models to see their nutrition uh, quality of these diets, and also some health outcomes of these diets. Uh -huh. And also in the environment part, I. I may ca calculate some carbon footprint, something like that. Okay, so like the full life cycle. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, life wow. cycle assessment, yeah. Okay, and so you're f originally from China, mm -hmm. and is this your first time like living in Switzerland, or have you lived yeah, here? Yeah, 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 first time in Europe. Okay, actually. and you did your bachelor's in China, mm -hmm. and so why did you decide to do your master's in Switzerland mm -hmm. at ETH? Yeah, uh, to be honest, Switzerland, it just randomly come to the Google oh. <laughs> search result because I just type in the keywords that I'm interested related to food. Like I, I consider something related to nutrition and environment, so I could do something out of food science. So I found this program and it's in Switzerland, so mm -hmm. I say it's good. So mm -hmm. I apply and get it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> in your bachelor's in China, mm -hmm. what did you study? Yeah. Also food science. Oh, so you can take yeah. a food science bachelor's? Yes. Okay. Yes. And then, so did you always know you wanted to study food science? Hmm, I'm not always know. Like, like in the very beginning, I'm very childish. And yeah, like were you always yeah, eating food? Yeah. And you, <laughs> so I, I, I thought I'm very familiar with food and uh, like, I think almost everyone are interested with food, right? Uh -huh. So I think, yeah, compared to other stuff. As, like computer science, it's a little bit far from me, and for okay. food science, it's yeah, it's very yeah, 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 that's true. So very childish de decision. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So why did you decide to do a master's instead of going straight to work mm -hmm. to industry? Why did you decide to do a master's in food science? Yeah, like from my experience in China, I think the bachelor degree is not enough if you have a passion or have a vision in your career. So okay. maybe it's need to do more education on this field so that you can go like R&D or something, like more advanced position. So okay, so if you want to work yeah. in R&D yeah. and food science? Yeah, okay, yeah. and so is that what you want to do? You want to work in R&D? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, or what do you yeah. want to do after your master's? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, I, I guess I'm very likely to 
go for a PhD. Ah, oh, okay. So why? Yeah. Why? Why? Because uh, yeah, because based on my thesis project, I found that's quite interesting and there's opportunities to do more on that. So mm -hmm. maybe it's good, and I want to spend more time here too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm gonna do my PhD too. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 because you it's get good. to stay here, and yeah. also if you like research, uh -huh. then yeah, yeah, so research is fine. Yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. you said that. You really like your master's project right now, and hopefully you can continue doing that for a PhD. Um, and it's about sustainability analysis, but what does that mean, sustainability analysis? Like, you take all of the sustainability in all of the world, mm -hmm. and then yeah. do everything? Or do you work yeah. on, like, one plant and yeah. like in it, Switzerland? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so can you elaborate more? Yeah, it's very it's an idea scheme if I could do, like, do every aspect regarding to the sustainability and also do the global assessment. But right now, for my master project, I just do the Swiss-based sustainability assessment and focus on the area in regarding nutrition, health and the environment. So I didn't regard to the like culture, like equality or some social or economy based sustainability. I also collect data regarding to the carbon footprint and the water use and the bio, bio, uh, bio, biodiversity loss regarding to the present diet or some alternative diets Maybe we can compare a current diets and some alternative diets like vegan, uh -huh. vegetarian diets, so to see the re the consequences regarding to the environment footprint and compare which is better. Maybe we can shift current diets to other. Oh, yeah. okay. So sort of like uh -huh. for long term yeah, yeah, yeah. to, to, to investigate yeah. what is more sustainable. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Mm -hmm. That's really good because yeah. I always struggle with. I don't buy like mangoes or bananas because okay. I'm afraid. I'm like, oh, or I try to eat meat once a week to lower my carbon or yeah. lower my carbon footprint, and then I try not to eat um, uh -huh. bananas and mangoes. But then I heard that yeah, making chocolate uses a lot of water. And now I'm like, yeah. well, what's the point? Yeah. I, I was I eat chocolate, but I don't eat meat. So I, I feel like there's <laughs> never any winning, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. There's no perfect diet. Mm -hmm. that's, that's true, that's true. There's always trade-off. Like even in the field of environment impact, there's a lot of environment impact. Mm -hmm. Like carbon footprint, water is one thing. Also land use, biodiversity. Also some something like pollutants, some pesticides also mm -hmm. have have some negative effects to the environment, so yeah, there's a lot of things that you need yeah. to think about. Even if you have uh, a bio, uh -huh. like yeah, bio yeah, foods, yeah. which is organic in uh -huh. North America, uh -huh. Yeah, it, it uses more land, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, you know, it's better true. because yeah. it doesn't use pesticides, yeah, yeah, but then yeah. it uses more land, uh -huh. so... So you will have maybe more uh, waste, because yeah, you, you didn't use pesticides so you will uh, have more yeah like, more the yeah, crop, yeah, yeah, less yeah, crop yield yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so is this what your your like your yeah. field of study yeah. does you're trying to collect the data mm -hmm. from all of these different mm -hmm. like environmental effects nutritional effects mm -hmm. and like try to find sort of like try to find yeah, the best try. diet yeah that's, really that's like try you're like superwoman <laughs> So no, wait. It's, it's a super big field. Yeah, so yeah. when you when you find the perfect diet, can yeah. you tell me yeah, so that yeah. I know I, I like be don't very... don't buy mangoes, <laughs> just buy like you tell yeah. me. So. I, I would say yeah, it's very specific uh, solution because like if you live in Switzerland or if you live in America or if you live in some place in Asia, you may have different yeah of course best yeah, yeah. diet because yeah you get food from different source. Like mm -hmm. they use different uh, resources for producing food. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have any advice for anyone that wants to go into food sciences? And just enjoy it. And yeah, I, I think it's better to find the specific fields you are interested in in food science because food science is really a bore. So maybe you, like for me, I tried something before in my bachelor's. So now gradually I could find that the specific field that I could be evolved into mm -hmm. so it's not so easy so you try and you experience and then you find it and enjoy it and do more <laughs> um and have you ever gotten any really bad advice from anyone has anyone ever given you bad advice i don't think it's a good thing to compare yourself with others because 
in most of the time the comparison is meaningless and mm -hmm. it will bring you some very active emotions about that. What is the coolest thing you think about food science? People always think that food is so simple that everyone is very familiar with food so as people in the food science you will say it's nothing people will say you are nothing special and you know food i also know food so it's a common sense but i will say like you can find something very complicated be least the very simple thing like food okay yeah, that's the cool thing that's <laughs> really cool yeah. thank you so much yeah. for letting me interview mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. um okay. Thank you everyone for watching. If you have any more questions for Kathy, if you have any more questions for Kathy, just leave them in the comments below and I and I will text her okay, and tell okay. her like, "Hey, can you answer this question?" Um, and if you guys like this video, then please like it. And if you want to see more, then please subscribe. Okay, subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>